Now, just real quick, because I feel obligated to say this as a fitness professional, but if you're trying to lose weight, then you need to cut calories. Your thyroid is not making you fat. Your genetics are not making you fat, nor for the ladies is polycystic ovarian disease making you fat. Those are just excuses. Oh man, Roger. To adapt to other people, they expect everyone else to adapt to them. All right, we have two more clips. Let's have yoga teacher Jessamine Stanley break it down for us. Anti-fatness is directly linked to racism, ableism, misogyny, classism, and other forms of oppression. Hey, Nicker. It's why so many people think it's okay to harass fat people and do so under the guise of being concerned. So I ran across this video of this, uh, of Think Before You Sleep, and he was talking about this, this yoga fat yoga teacher it's a fat yoga teacher okay that's exactly what it is this is this is no no play on words this is exactly what it is this is a fat yoga teacher you give us it say that three times fast fat yoga teacher 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 <laughs> Anyway, that's what it is. You get what I'm saying? And it's it's like it, he he breaks it down because you know I, I it's fun in the push, man, for people to. I guess look, if, I guess everybody should feel comfortable in your own skin and shit like that. But but at the same time. It, don't don't get so comfortable that you just don't care. You get what I'm saying? Now, I, now that I got that out the way, you get what I'm saying? Uh, this person right here is is a fucking manipulator. You get what I'm saying? Simple as that. You get me? And it's so funny because it, it, they are these are the people that are being backed by backed by people, and we'll get to that in a minute. Let look. Let him explain a little bit more about this crazy person. This uh, uh, this is this weird person. Let's go. Water is really important to me. I have a very specific water ritual. The ingredients that I like in my water in the morning are activated charcoal and lemon juice. Lemon is a cleanser. Charcoal allows everything else to clean out as well. I do not skip my skincare. I like to start with a cleansing oil just to wipe everything off. I like to follow that up with either a soap or a skin milk just to do an additional rinse. Then I spritz rose water toner on top of my skin. I like to put a skin serum on to seal in the toner. And then I take an eye cream. An eye cream has been like the game changer of my life. Then I just like to dab a little bit of face cream all over my whole face. Is her biggest health problem the fact that she doesn't have enough charcoal or lemon juice in her diet? <laughs> I mean, that's one thing I consistently see with a lot of unhealthy people is that they always have some kind of disgusting health potion that they drink every day to to cleanse themselves. When in reality, we're talking about raindrops compared to the ocean here. She would become vastly healthier by losing weight. Drinking lemon water in the morning is not going to stop her from getting type 2 diabetes. And also, look at all the time she puts into rubbing six different chemicals on her face to make herself look better when the most obvious thing she could do to make herself look more attractive is to lose weight. That's just the thing. Nobody wastes more time in getting pretty toenails or wastes more money on expensive haircuts than obese women. If they would just take a tenth of that time that they waste trying to hide their obesity and put it towards weight loss, then they would be thin in a heartbeat. But that's not what happens. Look at our hero of a healthy body, Jessamine Stanley. Let's see how far she has come in her journey to be healthy. This video of her doing a backbend was filmed five years ago. The morning routine video was shot four years later, and she has gained a substantial amount of weight. If she continues on this path, then she'll be dead by the time she's 50. Oh, man, Roger. Now, when you look at this, are you asking yourself, is this someone you should be taking health advice from? Not only are there plus-size models everywhere in the women's section of clothes stores, but I have literally seen plus-size mannequins in the clothing section of an athletic store. And of course, at that same store, all the male mannequins were jacked and in shape. Fat phobia, or anti-fatness, is the harmful bias and hate against fat people. This also includes the fear of gaining weight. 
Okay, after watching all of that, let's see where she's at now. Gatorade Fit. Fitness starts from the inside. Get healthy, real hydration. And no added sugar, artificial sweeteners, or added colors. Gatorade Fit. Healthy, real hydration today. Helps you fuel tomorrow. 